This weekend saw two GPs with two different winning decks, and one of those decks didn't even have vehicles or Sahili Rai in it. Grand Prix Shizuoka in Japan saw just over 2,700 players be whittled down to the top eight on Sunday. Among those eight, there was one Teamer Tower deck, one Jun Smasher, and six Mardu vehicle decks, including at least one that was the exact list Owen Turtenwald used last weekend in Grand Prix New Jersey. This list took Ryohi Kirino all the way to the top in his very first Grand Prix main event. On the other side of the equator, Grand Prix Porto Alegre also took place this weekend, with a different deck taking the top spot. Battling through a field of 569 players, the top eight consisted of two Mardu vehicles, three four-color Sahili, two different black-green decks, and the winning deck list, Teamer Tower, piloted by Victor Fernando Silva. One issue that was brought to light for the two events this weekend has to do with the prize payout. Due to the amount of players at Grand Prix Shizuka, there were two players that went 12-3 in the Swiss portion of the event, but did not earn prizes falling just outside of the top 64 cutoff for prize support. Critics of the issue point the blame at the change to Grand Prix structures last year, which allowed all players with records of X and 3 or better to move on to day 2 of the event. With the release of Modern Masters 2017 on Friday, players were looking forward to opening Fetchlands, Tarmogoyfs, Liliana's, and Amonkhet cards? Over the weekend, a Reddit post was created showing a Portuguese language card with the Amonkhet set symbol that was supposedly pulled from an English Modern Masters 2017 pack. Later that day, the Manaleak.com Twitter account posted an image showing two copies of the card, along with a piece of paper with a date and timestamp, which may lend slightly more credibility to the original post. The biggest point of discussion about this potential Amonkhet card is the formatting of the card itself, which looks like a form of split card flashback using a mechanic that's translated to either consequences or aftermath to allow it to be cast as a different spell from the graveyard. Could we see enchantments that turn into sorceries? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Rather than looking to a future set, Dual Decks Mind vs. Might takes us back to the original Magic Plane, Dominaria. On the Magic homepage today, the lists for both decks were revealed, and one card, Ancestral Vision, that many players expected to be in the set after being left out of Modern Masters 2017, will not appear in this dual deck. Outside of the two face cards, Enjoyra of the Gitu and Lovisa Cold Eyes, there is new artwork on a few cards, including The Unspeakable, Guttural Response, and Zozu the Punisher, along with a copy of Mind's Desire with the Judge promo artwork. Dual Decks Mind vs. Might will come out on March 31st. That's our show for today, March 20th. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.